What is up, everyone? Old Willow Scrub here. Today is October 3rd, which means today is Revolt Day. For those of you who do not know, Cold Sept or Cold Sept is a card game that's played on a board. Uh, you can find many videos online if you actually follow my channel. You probably see me play it on the uh, three Cold Sept Saga. There's only been two, before today, there's only been two U.S. Cold Sept games. Or Western, I should say. That is Cold Sept on the play 2, which I will be doing a uh, full playthrough, the same thing I did with Saga. That's going to be sometime uh, December or January. I don't know when. But there's been basically Cold Sept on the PlayStation 2, Cold Sept Saga on the 360. And now, with Coldcept Revolt on the 3DS. Again, Coldcept is essentially if Magic the Gathering and Monopoly formed into one game. It's a hard game played on a board. Object of Coldcept is not really so much to your opponent and, and eat their creatures, not really like that all maps have a total mana limit so if a map said you need 7,000 up to the first person to get up to 7,000 wins okay there's many different ways you can get there you not necessarily have to you know start attacking everything there's many different ways to play the game uh, Going to be looking at a lot of that in Revolt, a lot more than we saw in Saga. There's a lot more combos, a lot newer combos, a lot more emphasis on scroll cards. Going we'll to be looking at more of those now. But without further ado, let's just get these up. Let's shuffle this. Up. This is a limited edition box. <laughs> now, this thing comes with quite a bit of things. First thing we're going to be looking at is actually built right inside this little box. I was looking at the right side. Wow. Our replica dice from the game. Let us bust them open. Which I cannot get. There we go. These actually have some weight to them. They are metallic. Not sure if I actually want to take them out or not. Oh, it's literally just a little pouch just like the other one. Oh, that's not a problem. That's, that's easy. Okay, that bag is actually destroyed. Find the camera. There we go. These are, like I said, metallic. These are a replica of what you would see in the game. Actually, these surprise me. They... they Got a pretty good heft to them. There are six sides, but you will see that the highest it goes is to five, the lowest it goes is one. It has a cold step symbol. This is the same symbol that we use for the cold step central um, community here on Twitch. 
to roll two of them, it's essentially like rolling a six. That was a twelve. However, this die is act this symbol normally is a zero. So if you get cold decept symbol and one, you only move one. If you get cold decept symbol and four, you only move four. But if you were to get two symbols, then you roll twelve. That is uh, part one. Part two, I'm not going to go full into this book. Probably just the Cold Sept Book of Scepters. I will not look at this book, and I won't show anyone what's in here until the start streaming and we finish the story. Then I will bust this out and again and we will look more in detail. But I know it's safe to look at the first view. This is the main character. Also the play. Uh, get down there. Boobage alert. Now, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not going to go more on who in here. I don't want to not only ruin the experience for myself, I don't want to ruin the experience for anyone else that might watch this video. If you want to know who's in there, there have been many unboxing videos, and they fully go through everybody in the book. So if you would like that, go for it. That's not something I want to do. Again, once we finish the story here, once I can start streaming all the set, well, then we will go further in that book just see what they might have in there. <laughs> Should have opened this before. Next thing we have is the Cold Scepter Revolt uh, Symphony of Scepters. Soundtrack. If you want to hear this, not mistaken, it's either up now or will be up soon on Cold Set Central. So if you ever want to hear the soundtrack, you can go to coldsetcentral.com. You don't have to type it out. Go below this stream, you will find panels. One of the panels is for Cold Set Central. Click right on it and right to Cold Set Central. Uh, what's funny is I usually have I've, I've been doing a lot of stuff right now. I have my pocket knife my utility knife that I carry around And unfortunately, I don't. I do have keys. Bear with me. I did not think of this ahead of time. I'm a numpty. There we go. Okay. I don't know, like, what's... Oh. 
It does give you a track list. That's nice. Is quite. I have a feeling just looking at this artwork behind this is Hypna. Now you want to talk about <clears throat> clothing? There must be like, she must have found like a sale on bungee cord. Next thing we're actually gonna look at we're game. There's something else after that. And I'd rather save that for last. The game is currently in the UDS right now. Artwork has changed very slightly. Basically stayed about the This basically just based it's basic um Nintendo seal stuff, the feature warnings, ice strain. Somebody should have told them that before they made Virtual Boy. Now we're going to go into last and that is a seven piece foil card set. Every limited edition gets the Exact same seven cards. I think they they did that. My thinking is they did that so no one would feel like chipped off. Like if somebody got card they wanted, but the card they got was something else and they didn't want it. Um, they probably did not want to feel ripped off. You're going to go through cards. There are seven cards. And. There are five creatures. One for each element. There's an item card. A spell card. First this is the back. Without the words down there. This is your standard. Full Decept card back. Okay. First card we are looking at, creature called Shadow Guys. Like I said, there are seven cards. These are oversized and foiled. I I wish that they would have used a thicker card stock. That's that's basically my only complaint. I wish it was just a little bit thicker. Next, we're looking at fire. It's Tiamat. Where's my light source? Oh. There's my light. Oh, that's a little too bad. Off the screen. Next card we have is one that I've used um a PlayStation 2 once. This card a lot in my saga videos. That is Kelpie. Even though I like Kelpie, I, uh, my name is Old Willow Scrub, I was hoping 
fire creature would have been Old Willow. Um, I am kind of surprised at some of the cards that are in here. I would, I would have thought that some of the creatures would have been more staples. I understand Kelpie. Kelpie has been in many different versions. Okay, so I understand him. Just to let you know, there will be high quality photos of everything here, both on uh, Twitter. We'll also probably find photos of this on Coldest Central as well. Next creature we have is Earth. This is Barong. I believe this is actually new to the Old Seth Revolt. I don't think he's been in any other one. The final creature is, if I'm mistaken, Treasure Raider is an air creature. As you would have noticed, there are five elements. Neutral, fire, water, earth, air. Like, I was surprised by Treasure Raider. I would have assumed that they probably would have used, like, Powder Eater. Or some other, you know, air staple. But again, there will be really high quality photos of these up shortly. Or at least at least tomorrow def definitely they will. Now we're gonna look at an item card. This is Aura Strike. I believe this is what that is. Uh Aura Strike is a scroll item. I never really use scrolls in Saga. I will say to use them in Revolt. There are more scrolls, there are more powerful scrolls, and it's really hard to stop scrolls. I mean, there are some items you can use that can stop scrolls, but hard. it's pretty hard to stop a scroll. This one is actually really nasty. Usually what scroll cards do is It'll say, your strength will equal this. So, if it was strength equals 20, and you use it on your creature, and let's say your creature could normally do 60 damage, the creature's only going to do 20. Okay, what this card does is scroll attack, whatever your base attack is for the creature, you equip this on. So if your creature's base attack is, 50. You're going to scroll attack for 50. 60. You're going to attack for 60. Scroll damage. Scroll damage does. Let's say your creature you're attacking 40 HP. And then it's on a fire land. Now, creature. Fire creature on a fire land. Creature matches the element except for neutral. Gains HP per land level. So if the land level four, they would gain 40 HP. So let's say you had a fire creature that had 40 HP on a level four land. It is 80. But roll attacks ignore land boosts. So if the creature's HP was 40 and you hit it with scroll that can do 40 damage, it'll kill the creature instantly. Kind of like how uh, creatures with penetration can ignore land boosts, the HP boost. Essentially what a scroll does. The final card we have is a definite staple. Not just Old Decept, but in many books that you will run into that is Wind of Hope. Unless it changed in Revolt, this is like A40 mana, draw two cards. Things just look beautiful. 
you could you could make these cards feel please I'd buy them that except it's limited edition Again, at some point in time, we will revisit the scepter book as pictures of, I think, all of the main scepters. I don't even, I, I really don't know who's all in this book. I will not look in the book, and I will wait until I've done the story before I even look at it myself and before I even show it to others. There's the Cold Scepter Revolt soundtrack. Really amazing dice. Now, I am a huge um, card game player, right? So having, not just having the cards, but having the replica die from the game, this is amazing. And like I said, metal. And they are, they got some heft to them. And... Seven foil oversized cards are again as follows Battlegeist, Neutral Creature, Tiamat, Fire Creature, Kelpie, Water Creature, Arong, Earth Creature. Treasure Raider, Air Creature, Aura Strike, Item, finally, Wind of Hope, Bell. This is basically a short stream, I literally just set up everything just for this. Not even joking. And obviously, um... Also, the revolt menu screen <laughs> quite a bit on my 2DS. Again, oh, just a little FYI. Not done with Cold Decept Saga. So, revolt is out, and I'm going to be spending a lot of time, especially a lot of stream, on revolt when I can, once I get things started. We'll be doing more. Cold Decept Saga. We're going to be doing book guides, and I'm, st I'm going to be doing book guides for Revolt as well. The way I'm going to be streaming multiplayer is different from the way I'm going to be streaming story. Okay. Story matches are going to be, well, I guess, a little bit more high quality than what the multiplayer map. Now, story for Revolt is going to be set up like this. We're going to obviously go through the story. We're also going to be doing book guide. I'm going to make any book someone creates and wants to see used. It it doesn't have to really have a theme, but theme would be nice. In Actually, join the Cold Step Central Discord. Click. If you're ever in here and I'm streaming, just type exclamation point Discord and you will get the Cold Step Central Discord. Um, I can recommend. Take any book you want, whether it's one that you want to see done but you don't know what to put in there, or if you have a book that you actually want to see used. Any book that somebody wants me to book guide with, like I've done on Saga, 
watch those in the videos. When you make a book guide for Revolt, you can tell me who you want me to face and on what map. For multiplayer, I'm going to do things a little differently. Assuming that I have all the cards. In the All the Sub Central Discord, I created a Discord bot. This bot acts as old. It's a card database bot, first and foremost. Type in question mark shadow guys. Diamant. Selfie. Stats of any card in the game. All 400 and. I forgot how many. You can also get it in this Discord too. If you type in exclamation point Kelpie for. Which obviously. Work. Oh, um, exclamation point. Cards, Kelpie? I don't remember how I set this command up. Exclamation point card Kelpie. We'll give you all of these stats for Kelpie. Yeah, you know, it's Kelpie. You ever see a that's another thing. Um cards come in four different rarities. Normal, rare, range, extra. Most people know it as extra or it means extra rare. If you ever type, if you ever look up at a card and you see like Kelpie is strange water, that means its rarity is strange and its type is water, element type. Get all that information from either uh, the stream when I'm live or from the word at 24 7. Other thing that the Discord bot does that I made is it's a book randomizer. Meaning, I took all of the cards, all the creatures in one group, the items in another, and the spells in another. Set up the bot to make what's known as a 2010 20 book for 20 creatures, 10 items. And 20 spells. It will make a random book. This is the Discord. Wherever I'm streaming, I'm about to stream multiplayer. You can type in, type in question mark random book. The bot will make a 100% random book using only one card. So you're only going to see one Shadow Geist, not two or three or you're only gonna see one DMAT or one whatever. And I have to use that online once it starts. <clears throat> and last but not least Old Decept on the PlayStation 2. This is what got me into the series. For the times of um, being able to buy online easily, I was always going to GameStop. And I saw this game in the store once. And I, I skipped it. I'm like, eh. Whatever. And then some, I don't know why, but then for some reason when I came back the next week, I'm like, let me look at this. You know, the, like it's like, what what is this game all about? You know, here I am, well over a decade later, and I'm so glad that I picked up this game. $17.99. And I've actually never this game. I've never beat the PlayStation 2 version. I played it a bunch, never beat it. That's going to change 
like I said, sometime either the end of this year I'm going to start, or beginning of next year we're going to pull stuff from the PlayStation 2. Story mode, book guides, the whole nine yards. Basically, that is that. Oh no, my, my only problem is I just wish that they used a thicker uh, cardstock. That's it. But otherwise, these cards are freaking nice. They have a, a nice, um, slick feel to the front. The foil, is, it, it's actually pretty well done, to be honest. It's quite... Oh, there, there you go, subject, because I, I know I see you. I know I see you. That, as they say, is that. This was actually, like I said, this was going to be a, uh... I know, it, it's an amazing... That one, they actually did a really good job on the, on the foil. It just, just the, the card art alone is pretty freaking awesome. It's probably one of the best looking cards out there. But like I said, that is going to be that. This is not going to be a long stream because this is just like a small unboxing. As soon as I can start streaming both of the Revolt story mode, I will be. Tomorrow, I will be coming back probably with Saga. Don't know. We'll see. Like I said, once we're done with the story mode, we're going to be switching in book guides. So, again, for the book guides, any books that someone wants to see done, like if they want made, I can make it. I can choose who I face and on what map. Giving you the power. So... Stay tuned for to Twitter. I'm going to be updating information on that as soon as I can start uh, streaming it. And again, the way I'm streaming single player is totally different from how I'm going to be streaming multiplayer. Still, a lot of work to set it up. Just have to figure out the logic of that. But until then, I just want to say thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for hanging out. If you've never played a Cold Sept game before, pick up a copy of Cold, Cold Sept. You can get it in physical form, and you can also get it on the Nintendo 3DS eShop. The base game is $39.99. And let me tell you for a fact, Unlike other games, you may have paid full price and got pretty screwed over by. Aldecept keeps its value for a long time. Many games you play, you pay 60 bucks and the game's over in 10 hours. Like, you've done everything there is to do. Aldecept, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, you might be able to beat the story mode, but there's so many quest challenges that take a long time. Cold Decept is one of those games that it pays for itself tenfold with like how much enjoyment you get from it and how much you do with it. I have been disappointed with many games, both past and present, that costs like an arm and a leg, and all you get is maybe 10 hours of total playtime. It's beat. This, it's $39.99, it's 40 bucks, and you're probably looking anywhere between 
30 to 50 hours, maybe, for a new person in Concept. Maybe even more. To not only beat story mode, but beat all the little quest challenges that are out there. Hey! Yes, this is Cul-de-Sept Revolt. Well, since he since he showed up, I, I guess I, 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 as as I guess I can show off the cards again. Because it won't take long to show off the stuff again in a little quick fashion. But yes, Doctor John Galt, Cul-de-Sept Revolt. Limited edition finally came. Day is Revolt Day. One of the things you get from the limited edition are two metallic dice. I'm actually kind of surprised by because they got some heft. You get what's known as the Old Decept Book of Scepters. I, like I said before, I'm not going to go into book this well okay so this is a limited edition this is the uh, $60 version and I'm actually kind of surprised by that to be honest but first like I said I'm not gonna go fully into this book I'm only gonna go into the first two people this is your Starting character, this is the character you actually play as in Vault. That's Alicia. But like I said, I'm actually kind of surprised because this thing comes with a lot. It comes with two replica metallic dice. Comes with the Symphony of Scepters, which is... Soundtrack. This is the soundtrack to Cold Decept. By the way, just just because you're here, say hi to Hypna. And a lot of times, soundtracks by themselves cost around twenty dollars. When you look at it, at the fact that you get the um, scepter art book, more or less, you get two metallic dice, and you get a seven-piece foil set for free. If you look at it that way, just normally, like I said, soundtracks are twenty bucks. Okay, this edition costs literally twenty dollars more than what the base game costs. And then there are seven foil cards. I will go through them again because you have a come. You have first creature that you get. Now these are oversized and foiled. First creature you get is Shadow Geist. This is a neutral creature. Second card, and whoops, the daisy. Hold on, is Tiamat. These are the exact same cards that everybody gets. We weren't sure at first until when I was looking at the old pictures from what we saw. Then when I saw um, Andy Man from Cults Up Central do an unboxing, he got his, like, super early. When he did his unboxing, they were the exact same pictures, and I'm like, or the cards, I mean, and I'm like, uh, I think they give everybody the same card, which makes sense. You wouldn't want people literally fighting over, like, I want that card, no, I want that card, type of stuff. I mean, they basically gave everybody the exact same card, so there's no 
Like, oh, ha ha, I, I, I got this and you didn't. The next creature we have is Water Creature, Hopi. There are seven cards, five creatures, one for neutral, fire, water, earth, and air. And there's an item card and a spell card. Next one is Earth, that is Barong. The final creature is an air creature. Is Treasure Raider. Get her in the light. Again, there will be high quality photos in in the next twenty four hours. They will go up on Twitter. Sixth card you get an item card. This is Aura Strike. Now I actually put these in order of creatures item spell and then I put the creatures in color order. I like order. Um Aura Strike is a scroll card. Not really used that much in Saga, in my opinion. But now really used in Revolt. There are more scroll cards, and there are more powerful scroll cards. Usually a scroll card will say, your creature's attack equal, not additive, like other items. So if the scroll said, your creature attack is 30, you're only doing 30. Or strike is, whatever your creature base strength is, is automatically a scroll attack. So if your attack was 50, you would hit for scroll damage of 50. Final card is one of the staples in cold set books. And that is Wind of Hope. Unless it changed in Revolt and Saga, this was a 40 mana draw 2 card. But yes, everybody gets the exact 7 cards. I personally would have loved an old Willow. I would have loved that a lot more. Oh, and I wanted to say that I'm not done with Cold Cold Decept Saga. I'm going to be doing more book guides for Cold Decept Saga. Not anytime soon, though. Unless, well, it depends on when I can start streaming uh, Revolt. Not entirely sure. And once I'm done with the story, and probably not for months after, I will be going through Cold Decept on the PlayStation 2. I don't know how long that one's going to take. I've actually never finished this game. <laughs> So I have no clue what to expect. And that, as they say, is that. Again, I just wanted to say, if you've never played a Cold Decept game before, even if you have, know, or if you don't know, that Cold Decept games, they are worth their money. They are worth the price you pay. Everything that into the game, you get back in the playability. Um, there are many times probably been hurt by pay 40, 50, 60 dollars for this game. Maybe you get 10 hours to play out of it, and then you, you basically beat the game, you did everything there is to do in the game. That's, that's the problem with a lot of games, both past and present, where the game is literally, you know, 
40 50 60 dollars and maybe you get 10 hours um, get in the bag and in cold stuff you'll never really run into that Unless you have godlike RNG, you get every card in the game, or every great card in the game, first, let's say, you know, six hours, you know, you might be able to beat, um, story mode quick, or quicker, but basically, cold Decept games take a while. This one actually has the longest story campaign out of all of them. Cold Decept Saga is pretty long. Cold Decept Saga is 30 story maps. This is more than that. And then, they this one also has side quests that you can go on. So, and if you've never played Cold Decept and like the idea of card game played on a board like on a board game like Monopoly. You know, you can watch videos on YouTube, you can watch videos on Twitch. I have videos galore on Twitch. I have thirty story matches and uh I think fourteen book guides. Literally get an example of what cold set or that is I'm actually done here. This was literally just supposed to be a short unboxing stream. So good night. Again, if if you ever played Cold Decept, what you've seen on videos looks something you might like. But you're not sure, you know, maybe it's it's a quick game. It's not a quick game. You know, for a new person just getting in, and let's say you have moderate RNG, looking at 30 plus hours. Beat the story. Then there's, like, you know, collecting all of the cards, um, collecting four of every card, trying out different books, trying out different people. Then there's Breed Dragons. I don't know much about them, but let's see if I can explain it. There are certain cards in the game called Breed Dragons, or Breed Parts. Uh, in the U.S. they're called the Evo Parts. What it is, is you can literally make your own cards in Cold Decept. Make your own dragons. Throw a dragon up, have them neutral, fire, earth, and water. You can add different parts that you get from packs. That's one of the main differences. I'm going to go into these differences once I can start streaming a bolt. There are a lot of differences and nuances to the different cold decepts out there. I will say... That Cold Decept Revolt is also the fastest. So if you did not like the fact that a lot of Saga matches were taking an hour and a half, you'd be happy to know that they are well, well, well below that time. So, that, I just want to say thank you very much. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you very much. To, uh, thank you for interacting. Thank you for hanging out. Again, if you want to know more, you can check out coldsfcentral.com. Scroll down the page below to get to the coldsf panel I have. You click on it, you'll go right to the website. Uh, type in exclamation point Discord, or if you hear when I put it in. And you can check out the coldsf central Discord as well. In that Discord, you can Test out my Discord bot that I made. You can not only get the 
that's of any card. You can also create a random book for whatever purpose you might be. There will be more commands in that bot probably over the next week or so. Maybe I'll have it sort, you know, just by, you know, element type like neutral fire, earth, air, water, whatever. Maybe I'll have one. List all support creatures. List all creatures with first attack. We'll see. And that, as they say, is that. This is the end of the Cold Decept Vault Limited Edition showcase. As soon as I can start streaming. I will alert on Twitter and we start going through from the very beginning story mode. Till then, thank you very much for watching. You can check out my videos. You can see, you know, what Cold Decept looks like in general. You can see all the saga matches that are there. And you play Revolt. Once I can start doing book guides for Citra, in um, ask me any book guide you want me to make. If it's a book you just created, it, it doesn't even have to be good. Literally, be any book that you. You know what? Let's let's watch him fail. Let's go. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time. I hope you all have a great night or a great day, depending on you know where you are in the time zone. That uh, happy revolt day.